Good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Welcome you to give you a hello. Good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bernard Kopu Abla. I'm a radio presenter at TFM. I'm the MC for this session. We want to welcome all of you to the program. And thank you for coming on time. Uh, my job here is to give you a few quick announcements ahead of the arrival of the president. So we are all clear on what to do when it comes. And that will be in the next few moments. The president is scheduled to be here by 2 o'clock. And when he comes, we will rise and open remarks before a short video will be shown and the president will give his keynote address. After all the speeches are given, the president will cut the sword officially. He will go out with a few selected people. The rest of us will follow through this exit. There's a sh short exhibition out there that he would observe. And the rest of us who haven't seen the exhibition can see it later. He will also tour the facility and will be invited to join him as and when state protocol directs. If you need to use any of our restrooms, we have mobile toilets still. We want to urge minimal movement when the president arrives so that especially houses will not be disrupted in their coverage. If you need any information or any help, I am happy to answer questions or the ashes in red polo shirts will be very happy to have you. We want to thank you sincerely for coming on time and we are praying for your cooperation to have a speedy and successful program. And if the temperature in the room is too hot, we sincerely apologize and we promise to move quickly.
band will lead us in the national anthem as soon as he comes in. Republic of Ghana, ministers of state, members of parliament, members of the diplomatic corps, our traditional rulers, academia, chiefs, and all of you here in gathered. We welcome you to Kuntunsi to the launch of the Ghana Radio Astronomy Observatory, a historic day this Thursday, August 20. About anybody else, we want to express our gratitude to the president for being here with us. And so we are here with His Excellency Nana Adodanko Akufado, the president of the Republic. Let's acknowledge his presence. It's a round of applause. Thank you, sir. We're privileged to have the Minister for Environment, Science, Technology, and Innovation, Professor Kwabna Technology, Honorable Naled Dipando, is also here with us. We are most privileged to have the Minister for National Security, Honorable Albert Kandapa, here with us as well. From South Africa, we're privileged. It is also a science, technology, and innovation here in Ghana, Honorable Patricia PJ here with us. This program is a collaborative effort between a number of countries. We're very happy to have from Botswana. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudanko Ekufuado. Your Excellencies, High Commissioners and Ambassadors, Honorable Minister of Environment, Science and Technology, Honorable Ministers from Ghana, others. Honorable Ministers from SEE, Pioneer countries. Honorable MCEs and GCEs, representatives of AU Commission and the United Nations of African SKE partner countries. Nananum, Nime, Name, distinguished invited guests, Friends of the media, ladies and gentlemen, all other protocols observed. It is my pleasure, greatest pleasure to Astronomy Observatory. As the Director General of Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, I provided supervisory role on two crucial areas, namely atomic and nuclear programs and space science and technology in the socio-economic development of every nation. Since the inception of Gamma Space Science and Technology Insti Center, now Institute in 2013, opportunity to embark on masters, again, the high level of skills acquired through training by our technicians, at the Mechanical Workshop of JEC, facilitated the conversion of the antenna. I am proud to say that the quadrupole legs holding the SOC reflector was manufactured by our technicians from the Mechanical Workshop at JEC with supervision from the SKE counterparts. I can with conviction say that <laughs> I can with conviction say that we will be able to confidently conduct routine maintenance services. Used to point at the same celestial objects in the sky in combination with other radio telescopes, uh, ones in Europe and also one in South Africa, 4,600 kilometers away, simultaneously these instruments were coordinated to all point at the same object in the sky and got combining information to tell us what's going on 
in terms of different phenomena, different physical phenomena uh, in outer space. The Square Kilometer Project in South Africa and Hardebeer's Hook Radio Astronomical Observatory, which is the project. The South African Radio Astronomy Observatory is also not able to do the work that we do without the, both the financial and the policy support of our principals. So I therefore thank the Department of Science and Technology of the Republic of South Africa. I also wish to thank the Department of International Relations and Cooperation of the Republic of South Africa for funding the AVN project through the Africa Renaissance Fund. Having said I think Dr. Adam deserves another round of applause. Dr. Rob Adam, in 2010, you hosted a World Cup and we wanted to win, but somebody from Uruguay came to block our victory. So now we are hosting the facility and hopefully nobody can intercept our glory because here nobody can come and stop us. Thank you so much. And in that same spirit, we want to now receive the Minister for the Department. As a Minister of Science and Technology, I know how difficult it is to persuade our presidents to support science. And so, not only to have roots in South Africa, but to put down roots all over the African continent. Today, as part of that ambition, we launch an astronomical observatory in Ghana that hosts the first radio telescope in Africa, outside of South Africa. I am particularly excited to see a radio telescope project take shape in Ghana. I am really excited that Africa will reveal the future of astronomy over the next decade. I have said in previous meetings and speeches that it is correct for Africa. The seat, the seat of the notion of Pan-Africanism through President Nkrumah. So it is right that we are starting here. We have decided as ministers of science in this initiative that we will put Africa on the map where innovative science is concerned. This first radio telescope in Ghana is a significant milestone. Its long-term significance lies in the contribution that it will make to this grand initiative of Mozambique and Zambia, truly a Pan-African effort. There are many ways in which one can do science, but more and more, what we must have in frontier science is huge international investments of time and money. What holds it together is a collective commonality of purpose. We are proving through our collaboration that science knows no borders the contribution that the SKA will make, and I have developed a deep appreciation of its importance. On one hand, big science infrastructure projects give us Ghana through this project to international certification. They can now work anywhere. <laughs> so the SKA, as one, is to a great degree an information technology project. Professor Wormsley, one of our international board members, says it's an IT is amused because I'm asking about the stars and galaxies. But he would know from the astronomy sciences, we've got the data processing technology developed through the work that we will do. So the future technology you will use for data processing will come from the initiatives we celebrate today. I am extremely grateful, gentlemen. Our message today is the world. We are training young people to acquire masters and PhD. We are training young engineers to build instruments of this kind. We are training technicians to be welders 
so that we do not import technicians from the Philippines as my country does, but we have our own tech. So what we are doing through the work that we celebrate today is a massive task of altering the perception of Africa from an Afro-pessimist perception to an Afro-optimistic perception of Africa as it performs and undertakes science initiatives. Thank you very much for listening to me, and I wish you well. Thank you, Dr. Pando. Please put your hands together for Honorable Dr. Pando again. We want to quickly acknowledge the presence of the rep from the Embassy of the Republic of Korea, Excellency Mohammed Mohammed. Please acknowledge his presence. Thank you, sir. If you look on your program, we had planned to show you a video, but for technical and time reasons, we will not show the video here. But that video will be on Ghana television throughout the week, and we hope you get to view it because it will give us a learning, but at heart, a promoter of science and technology. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghana's Minister for <laughs> Environment, Science, Technology, Professor Kwabna Frimpon Boateng. Thank you. Um, I have a very simple task, distinguished Ladies and gentlemen, my colleagues, ministers, schools, my president. Um, but before then, I want to introduce my other family to the president. Mr. President, um, I have a, a very Chairperson and Director General of the Ghana Atomic Energy Center, ministers from Square Kilometer IRA SKA partner countries, representatives of the AU Commission of the United Nations, members of the diplomatic corps, partner countries. Today is a significant and a historic day for Ghana. We're gathered here to witness the beginning of a new era in Ghana's quest to harness the potentials of space science and will not only witness the deepening of knowledge and skills development in electronics and information and communication technology of Ghanaian scientists, but also enhance their capacity network to complete the conversion of this 32 meter into a functioning radio telescope. South Africa, for their assist satellite conversion process, and more especially for their help in the ongoing training of scientists, is successful. Ghana are with even greater promise for the future. Recently, we witnessed a successful launch into orbit of Ghana Sat 1 a satellite developed by three students from All Nations University College, a private university, and caretakers of our Earth should not compound the pressures on our fragile planet through harmful activities such as illegal mining and logging and the production of greenhouse gases. As President of the Republic and also as co-chair of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals group of advocates, I encourage scientists on this project to help spread the news about the need to use the limited resources available to us on Earth in a reasonable manner. Establishment shortly of a Presidential Advisory Council on Science, Technology and Innovation, PACSTI, a body comprising distinguished technology communicators amongst others that will provide advice to the President on issues relating to science, technology, and innovation. is headed by one of the most eminent Ghanaians of our generation, a scientist of well-deserved global renown, Professor Kwabna Frempon Boati, who I am confident will provide the dynamic leadership that will transform our science, technology, and innovation 
to, co to cooperate fully with him for the benefit of our country's rapid progress. It is my pleasure now to declare the Ghana Astronomical Observatory duly. AVN team. So, and while he does that, we will mention some of the names of the team members because the list is very long, but only the reps will come and receive. So, on behalf of the AVN team, Dr. Rob Adams, thank you very much. The next one is on behalf of management. On behalf of the science team, Professor Dixon Adumako. Professor Dixon Adumako. Thank you. Professor Dixon Adumako would receive, observe the national anthem, and then he would lead his dignitaries on the days through this exit to go and officially cut the sword and tour the facility. When he's done, the rest of us will be sent in batches to also do the tour so we can manage the space better. We thank you for understanding. Kindly now welcome the Acting Director of Science, Technology and Innovation at the Ministry, Ms. Adelaide Asante, to bring to us a vote of thanks. Please put your hands together. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudankwa Akufu Ado, Your Excellency's High Commissioners and Ambassadors, Honorable Ministers of SKA Partner Countries, Honorable Ministers of State from Ghana,